so <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to talk about and I've been wanting to do a vlog but you know this is just a general vlog and I don't know how long it'll be but like I, I've been struggling with this whole quarantine COVID-19 situation and I can't find the humor in anything and it's kind of making me sad I'm like oh I can't find the humor in anything like I keep trying to find like good things to be positive about but the way people the disgusting way people are acting has kind of really got me kind of like I don't fucking know anymore so I try to think of the bright side of stuff and like the only thing I keep coming back to is at least it's like the modern day it's a modern what I've been calling a modern day plague but in all honesty at least we're not in like actual plague times where people are like oh board up these fucking windows close up all the doors and shit let's just bleed out the bad blood cause your humors are all fucked up like I'm trying to like like be thankful we're not in that situation. Are we gonna put the bleeding was not only to bleed out the bl the bad blood, but it's also breathing holes. It'll help you breathe better. So I keep going back to at least we have that going for us. But it's that's a pretty fucking low bar when like given the situation. But that's like the brightest thing I can think of right now to keep me from like going off the deep end of the pool. I don't like going out. I know you're not really supposed to go out unless you need to. The last time I went out was last week when I did that video game vlog and I said it was weird out there. I think I went out one other time to continue to do a little bit more shopping because I needed a like I needed a few vegetables. It was still weird. It, in fact, it got weird. No, it wasn't to get vegetables. Today was supposed to be my husband's surgery day. His surgery has been postponed. So, after, like, going to the hospital, basically. That was why. We went to the hospital to, to like, basically pay his bill. And, um, and, um, basically check in for the, the surgery. But his surgery was supposed to be today. Unless it's life-threatening surgery, all surgeries have been canceled. So... I'm like, well, his surgery is currently scheduled for May, which, and I, he's all like, we're not going to be able to go to Germany, like, when I'm wanting to, and I'm just like, dude, that's not anybody's situation that's, like, anything anybody caused, but getting back to the surgery, um, after we were done at the hospital, because he came straight from work, and I drove from, from the house, and he was, <laughs> he, I was like, I need something to cheer me up, and one of the things I get cheered up with is food. And I know, you yeah, you lost all that weight. You shouldn't be eating all this trash. But trash helps me feel better in times of worry. <laughs> so I went into the bookstore because it was the closest place. And I didn't think it would be crowded, which it wasn't. There was like a, usually that bookstore is popping. It's got like a dick load of people. It did not really have a lot of people in there today. In that day, not today, that day. last I think it was last Wednesday or something. So it wasn't a lot of people in there. So I just went in there and I got a cupcake from the bookstore. Actually, I got two cupcakes. <laughs> they lasted me a few days. Like two cupcakes lasted me like pretty much all the rest of the last week. So um, I had gotten the cupcakes and just driving. I was already feeling pretty like, oh God, this is just weird. Being out here is weird. There's nobody out here. The, the bookstore is is at Wiregrass Mall and the most of the mall was closed. Macy's wasn't just fucking closed. Their shutters, like the, them crime shutters that I was complaining on the original Resident Evil 2. They had that Kendo gun shop dude close them fucking crime shutters. He wouldn't have got all eaten all ugly. Their crime shutters was closed. <laughs> so I don't know what the fuck was up with Boyfriend in the old Resident Evil 2 game. But again, had he closed some crime shutters, that wouldn't have happened to his ass. But what the fuck ever. So, but their crime shutters were closed. That freaked me out. That just really threw me into like a tailspin. And then driving through the mall and go out. It was this dead city. And it was freaky. And it's one thing to see a mall close at nighttime bright as fuck outside daylight and like half the shit was closed it was like oh this is fucking unfucking real so that was the last time i went out and i have i refuse to actually leave my house because it's just like this weird reminder that like life is not normal and it's so fucking trippy and 
for me, it's like, it's too weird for me to go outside. Because if I go out and I see, like, sprinklings of people, that's just going to fuck my brain up. So, I don't want to go out <laughs> just based on that. These fucking morons out here. Oh, we going to party because it's spring break. Okay, so let me tell you about my husband. Because this relates to the party spring break bit. <laughs> um, we had to pay the bill for him to get the surgery. We have very, very good, actually, health insurance, which not everybody has that kind of privilege at all, which is kind of a shame in this country. Everybody should have the right and access to health care, regardless of who you are, who you work for, or whatever the fucking situation is, but we do not have that in this country. I don't know why people assume that health care is a privilege and not a right. I don't fucking know, but that's what people think, and it's just... The stupidest, weirdest thing in the world. Politic, political ish issues aside, his bill without insurance was fucking thirty seven thousand dollars. Now, and we still was on the hook with insurance for two thousand five hundred dollars of that. So basically, my husband and I were vomiting on the on the floor because we had to pay $2,500 for him to get the surgery that's been postponed till May now. And it was just like, the fuck is happening? So, all these crazy motherfuckers out here talking about, oh, we gonna party. I hope you have some health insurance because this is a respiratory situation with this disease and the bill coming, if my husband's surgery was $37,000, I'm sure life support is going to be like hundreds of thousands of dollars if you ain't got no insurance. You don't know how to work your health insurance. You're on your parents' insurance. You don't have no job, no prospects, no friends. No, You just went to party. You get out here and you get sick and you looking at like a $50,000 bill or making your parents pay $50,000 for your health care because you wanted to be out there stupid. I don't get it. Why are you putting yourself at a financial disadvantage that hardcore for a second of partying? When somebody had a point, and that's what I was thinking too. I was watching something and they were like, you don't think when all this dies down and everything goes back to normal that we are not, there's not going to be parties ahoy? Parties every fucking place where people just happy to just, you know, be able to be out and with other human beings. Y'all blowing it on a fucking, at, at the worst, humanly worst possible time that you can blow it. But people are fucking morons and I don't know, maybe, maybe they don't care. I mean, most people are like, well, what about you getting, you just, you're a carrier. You don't even know you have it. And you make somebody that's immunocompromised or a loved one or somebody sick. And it's like, yeah, there is definitely that. And you need to stop and think about somebody other than your own selfish wants and needs. But... Who you think is going to pay for your health care when you ultimately get sick because you done fucked around? And it's not fair to ask your parents to pony up their dough because they weren't probably the ones to tell you, oh, go to spring break. That's just a fucking amazing idea for you. No, they're probably like, uh, you probably need to sit your ass in the house <laughs> and like not, but, oh, fuck that. I'm an adult. I can, I can fuck up my life. Look. If there was my kid out there talking about they were going to spring break and I'm the dude, you don't need to be fucking around and they fucking around, got sick. You're an adult, that's your bill. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, that's your fucking bill. You got to deal with this shit on your own. So but you believe like ain't no love, motherfucker. You knew you took that risk. You taking the financial hit on that shit. I'm not the one having to deal with that. I told you bring your ass back to the house. You fucked around, so I don't know what the fuck to tell you. And yes, I'm sure this is cold. Yes, it the fuck is. Next time, why don't you listen to people instead of, again, your own selfish damn wants and needs for frivolity. I can see if it was something important. Like, you had no food. You had, like, a packet of mustard in your refrigerator, and you desperately had to go get food. That is one thing. That is a necessity. You need to eat. You need to have, like, something to... Granted, water is just fine. 
tea is real cheap and like you can get some sugar to make some iced tea if there's like if you know cheap you can just get like a peg of the lifting and call it a day you don't gotta get all these fancy ass teas because we got some fancy teas in this house like way too much fancy tea but you don't gotta get fancy with the shit you can even get like the store brand for like cheap and make iced tea and just drink that if you need something sweet you don't and, and like water and stuff but like I don't just <laughs> To go out to go drinking, which compromises your immune system, and to canoodle with strangers where you don't know where they've been, who they've talked to, who they've interacted with, you're just trifling. You're trifling. Stop being trifling. And like I said, if you can think of it on this perspective of you're going to infect somebody else who did not ask for that shit... Think of the financial burden that it's going to be. And if I was, like I said, if I was a parent, it would be on you. I would be like, that's not my bill. <laughs> He's your kid. Yes, but that child is over 18, which makes them a legal adult. Harangue them for the money because you're not getting it from me. Because you took a stupid risk. You deserve all the consequences that come with this stupid risk. So... And see how that spring break went from like, oh, you got an Airbnb spot for like the week for like $700. See how that spirals into a $50,000 medical bill. See how far that fucking gets you. And then when you graduate, you already probably going to be on the hook for all these student loans. So good luck with your financial future. Fucking around partying <laughs> during a time when you need to be in the damn house. I can understand you have a problem with your family. Find somewhere else to be that's not in a horde of people. Just be somewhere safe and not trifling. <laughs> so, <sighs> it's just such a weird time. I just don't, I just, I can't, I, I almost can't mentally comprehend it. And I, I miss going to tea parties. I miss hanging out or not that I hung out. I mean, I was pretty much social distance before this. Like, I just went out to go grocery shopping. Maybe every once in a while to get out the house. But now I'm just in the house and it's slowly driving me crazy. But the thought of going out of the house to see desolation and nothingness is like, fuck that. I don't need that shit in my life. So, I will take being in the house. I haven't, like I said, I haven't left since my husband, since the cupcake situation <laughs> and... I don't, like I said, I think about, my husband's like, you want to go grocery shopping with me? Because we needed vegetables. Because we eat a lot of damn vegetables in this house. My husband's like, we got to get some vegetables. You want to you come with me? I was just like, I got to put the dog, the baby in a crate, the, it was the raven pepper. I'm looking at her now. She's kind of in trouble because she was fighting Shyla a little bit ago. Because I was trying to play with both of them. And she wanted to be the queen of the house. So I had to put Shyla out of the room while I did this. And made her sit over there <laughs> quietly because she was being bad. <laughs> she was trying to attack my Shyla. And that's not going to work. So now she has to sit in here with me till I'm done. But... I was like, I gotta put the child away, and I don't want to put her in a crate, and, and I gotta, like, coax her into the crate. It's just, like, I was like, it's a whole situation, but the truth of the matter is, I don't like going out the house because it's fucking weird, and I don't want to see all that weirdness because it does terrible things to my mental well-being, and most of the time, I'm hanging by a very shrill thread as it is, so, no, I don't want to go out the house because at least in the house, I don't have to kind of think about it, but... Once I go outside, it's like, oh, fuck me with a spoon. This is not nice. Like I said, seeing a closed-ass mall in broad-ass daylight is fucking mentally disturbing. So, and I don't want to look at that ever again in life. So let's just hope this, they said we're not even through the thick of it yet. And I'm just like, oh, son of a fucking bitch. And I'm like, ugh. This is going to be a hard-ass couple of months, but we'll pull through it. <laughs> we will pull through it. We will get through this all together because there is no other alternative. And for those of y'all who are like last year, oh, 2020 can't be humanly possibly worse than 2019. 2019 for me wasn't terrible. It was, it was like I said, it was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. But... 
fucking 2020 looked at that shit was like, I will see your calamity and I will fucking raise you a plague, motherfuckers. And everybody was like, fuck, I fold. 2060 was like, I fold, shit. 2019 was like, oh, I'm out, motherfucker. And it just scooped all of the gems up and was like, ha ha ha. So, I don't know. This is, this is rough. And this is only month three. We got nine more to go. So I don't know. It's going to be a rough ride this year. It's like, god damn. And I don't know. So that is all I have. Because I'm slowly going insane. So I will see y'all guys at another point. Later.